Avocado. This delicious and nutritious fruit has gained immense popularity over the last years, linked to a healthy lifestyle. But the underlying truth is tough. Avocado production carries enormous environmental costs that you are probably not aware of. The reason for the popularity of avocados is hardly a secret. Like blueberries and quinoa, avocados count among today's superfoods. They are not only a great source of nutrients and fibers but also, more importantly, of heart-healthy monounsaturated fatty acids. Avocados are supposed to be able to lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels and thus reduce the risk of heart disease. At the same time, they contain antioxidants that might reduce the risk of contracting certain types of cancer. Health-conscious consumers buy avocados, so do trendy urban green voting hipsters, vegetarians and vegans. Unfortunately, more often than not, the environmental consequences of a healthy diet are disastrous, particularly in the case of avocados. Today, avocados are found in a wide variety of locales. However, avocados can be quite temperamental to grow. Avocado trees need to have stable conditions and do not react well to frosts. Wind also negatively impacts the tree due to the decline in humidity. It requires one meter deep soils and does not react well to salinity. These growth conditions make it highly susceptible to extreme weather events, which are all the more common due to climate change. Despite the fact that avocados can be grown across the world, the primary producers of avocados globally remain in Central and South America, in part due to the topographical specificity of growing the fruit. Mexico is the largest producer. In Mexico, avocado production accounts for over 500,000 acres and has been steadily growing as demand for the fruit in the global north increases. The global avocado market was valued at approximately 12.8 billion US dollars in 2019 and is forecast to reach to more than 17.9 billion US dollars by 2025. This increasingly international trade comes with a significant carbon footprint. According to Water Footprint Network, it takes around 227 liters of water to make one avocado, whereas one tomato requires 12.5 liters or one head of broccoli 20 liters. The avocado tree is thirsty and very slow when it comes to give its first fruits. In a wet and rainy region of the world, this wouldn't be as problematic as for Mexico, California or Chile where droughts are a yearly reality. In Macocorn a full-grown avocado orchard requires double water than the originally pine forest, and because of this high need of irrigation, it stops the water flow otherwise designated to local wildlife. One hectare of avocado with 156 trees consumes 1.6 times more than a forest with 677 trees per hectare. When avocado trees are irrigated, because their roots are rather horizontal, the flow through preferential infiltration is less and makes it difficult for the water to seep into the subsoil, 14 times less compared to the pine tree. As a general side effect of deforestation for agricultural use, CO2 emissions rise, and they keep doing so as the avocado production is ready and shipped all over the world to its end consumers. All this intensifies our current climate crisis. From growing, transporting, shopping and processes involved in ensuring freshness of the fruit in transit, estimates suggest that avocados contribute double the carbon dioxide compared to bananas, and up to 40 times more than tea and coffee. This story is further complicated by a strong presence of drug cartels in the central region of Macocorn which produces 80% of Mexican avocados. Gangs have been known to demand protection money from farmers and have repeatedly threatened USDA inspectors when they visit farms. There has also been a marked upsurge in violence in the region due to the profits associated with the cash crop, forcing farmers to invest in expensive fencing and armed security. These drug cartels are making a huge money from avocados. So the money that we are spending for fresh and butterly avocados are mainly going to the people who are less aware of nature and environment. We live a global and fully integrated planet where what you happily eat with your friends and family while watching sports could be destroying entire ecosystems. This will affect you in the long run. Think about this the next time you're eating your guacamole and tortilla chips.